Hello, I'm Omar and welcome to a new Learning Charts video. In this video, we will create an Android application using Android Studio and Learning Charts GS. There is currently an article of this project where you can read in detail the installation and configuration of Android Studio. You will also see two other types of charts implemented in the same application, the bar and the line chart. Finally, you will have the option to download the complete project. So, let's start. When opening Android Studio, we will select the New Project option. This option will show a window like this. We will need to specify a name for our project. This will not affect functionality, so you can enter your preferred one. We can select the language. For this case, we will use Java. I will select the API 24, Android 7, but if you have a newer version, I recommend that you choose that. The API version will affect the publication of your application, since its compatibility is related to the updates of the Android operating system. Once the empty project is created, you will see a similar file tree. We will only have the main activity class, so we will create a new class for our chart. We will create a class called Candlestick Chart. Once created, we will return to the main activity class. We will modify the content. As you can see, we assign the bundle class to the onCreate function. This class will allow us to pass data from one activity to another. We also assign the view that this activity will use. In this case, the activity main.xml file. We create the candlestick chart method, which will be executed using a button in the application. The intent object will allow us to start the candlestick activity. Now, we will modify the candlestick chart class. We will start with inheriting the app compact activity class, which will allow us to use new features in all the devices. As you can see, we have created an instance of the web view class which will allow us to load a web page as the view of our activity. The layout chart display web view has been assigned, which marks an error since we haven't created yet. The use of JavaScript has also been enabled because our chart will be created using JavaScript. Finally, the web file that will be loaded is specified. As you can see, this should be located in an Assets folder. Now, we will start configuring our layout. We will create activity chart display XML file. We will start configuring the layout activity main. By opening the file, we can configure the appearance using the design tool. In this case, we will use code to create the button of our chart. After modifying the default code, you will be able to see a block of code referring to a button. Like HTML buttons, this one has its ID, text, size, and onClick action properties. As you can see, the onClick function refers to the function located in the main activity class. If we select the Design tab, we will see that our button has been created. On the right panel, we will see the properties that we declare in our code. Now, we will configure our web view in the layout of our chart. Inside the web view object, our web page will be rendered. The ID property refers to the chart display web view value, which was specified in the find view ID function located in our candlestick chart class. We need the assets folder. 
To create it, we will right click on our project. We will go to the folder section and we will click on the assets folder option. We will click on finish. With this, we will see that the folder has been created in our project. Now we need to create our HTML file. We will right click on the assets folder and select to create a file option. We will need to specify the same name that we entered in our chart activity. You also need to specify the file type, in this case, HTML. Inside our HTML file, we will have a traditional HTML structure. In the header, we will have a CSS class. We also import two JS files. These files contain the necessary properties to create our chart. For this to work, we'll need to create these files in our assets folder. For this video, I created them manually but you can download these files going to the article on our website. Once we have these files, we will review the code of our chart. In order to create our chart, it is necessary to import some components. From the LCJS library, we will import the basic components to customize and manipulate properties such as access. From the XY data library, we need a generator for charts of the open, high, low, and close type. We will now create a start date value for our chart. We need to instantiate a type chart XY. In other words, we create a catalytic chart. Also, we can assign another properties like the theme. The theme visual properties will be applied for our chart. We can give it a traditional look and feel, even a modern sci-fi style. There is a quiet wire collection, which you can consult in the lining charts documentation. In lining charts, we can manipulate many properties of each chart type. For example, we can access the X and Y axis to specify the behavior and add some visual properties like the title. We can also specify some properties of the mouse, such as the markers or shapes of the selection area. If you want to see all the properties of the axis, you can review our documentation on the lightning charts page. In the case of the Y axis, we can assign the scroll behavior. The expansion type will generate a fluid effect of zooming in or out when creating a selection zone with our mouse. This is just one of the many properties available to create a visually professional chart. To display data in your chart, it is necessary to create series. In order to show candle six, it is necessary to specify that type of figures, which are available as a property for the OHLC figures collection. Within this collection, you can also use the bar type figures. Finally, we need to assign values to our series. We can generate random data with the create OHLC generator tool. We need to specify the number of points. The proper ones are generated for this example with a simple calculation. In your case, you could specify with a count of your records the number of points to display. Frequency is the time that elapses between two timestamps. Set a start specifies the value at which data generation will begin. Finally, we wait for the process to finish using the promise object. If the process is successful, the generated value will be added to our series. Finally, we must register our new activity in the Android manifest. As you can see, the main activity had already been registered by default, but our chart activity had not. For each new activity, we will need to register it in our manifest file. As you can see, the activity inside the manifest file redirects us to the Java class, so we can make sure there are no mistakes. With this, our application is ready to be executed. I already have my emulator configured, but if you need help, you can check our article where you can read how to configure it. 
As you can see, the simulator runs the JavaScript code without problems. Many times the simulator can have some defects in the display. So I recommend using a real device on which you will run the application. The performance of the simulator can have different results depending on the hardware. If you want to see the JavaScript code in a better way, you can check to the interactive example in the Lightning Charts website. In this, you will be able to see, modify, and obtain the code of the candlestick chart and others. You can also review the article of the same project. In this article, you will be able to get a complete project with the bar and the line chart. You will be able to see its code and a full explanation. To finish, I show you the application from my Android device. As you can see, the final version looks much better visually and all the features are enabled without lag issues. With this, we finish this video. If you got here, I thank you very much for watching this video. I invite you to leave your comments and subscribe. Thank you very much and goodbye.